Guys, welcome to another uh, business model of tech companies. Today, I've bitten off far more than I can chew, and I am answering the question, what is IBM's business model? Why have I bitten off far more than I can chew? Do you know how many different companies are part of IBM? It's hundreds. I went to the IBM website, and it was like, whoa, they do absolutely everything in tech. And so what I've tried to do in here is describe the big picture of IBM so you can get it in a, a few minutes. And the best thing about it, if you go to the IBM website and look for an about page on it so that you can find out what IBM does in a sentence or two, you will not find it, but you'll find it here. So sit back, enjoy the lesson whilst I answer the question, what is IBM's business model? So. Basically, let's start off over on the right-hand side. Who are IBM's customer segments? They're big corporations. Yeah, it's not mom and pop shops. It's not uh, users, generally internet users. It's got people with big problems, with big budgets. Tens of millions is a typical contract for IBM. They are one of the big boys. Mind you, they did use to sell personal computers but they sold that off to Lenovo a few years ago. So what do they do? Okay, I've cut out all the technical jargon here because I don't think it really helps. We're looking at this at a real high level. So basically, the big thing that they do, they provide the, the software to connect different applications. A big company has lots of different parts of it. Uh, so you've got the operations, you've got the manufacturing facilities, You've got uh, the marketing department, you've got the sales team, each of which are spending tens or hundreds of millions of dollars a year on pieces of software. IBM provides the software to connect it all together. It's called, it's called middleware, and often for companies, they need extensive customization to connect two different types of software that have never been connected before in that particular way. That's what IBM does. It also supplies hardware mainframes to be doing very special, very technical tasks to deliver these large enterprise uh, software products, uh, IT solutions. And finally, because I, IBM knows so much about how corporate IT works, it is able to sell on so consulting, maintenance, outsourcing, so instead of your corporation running its IT department, IBM runs it for a period of one to 10 years. And finally, the, the big thing that IBM is trying to get into is artificial intelligence. It's Watson computer. It sees artificial intelligence creating what people call a general AI as a, a way forward. So as all of this becomes commoditized, and IBM sells all the old performing, the, the dogs off to new um, other people who are good at that. It is then hoping that it is going to create new stars in artificial intelligence and cloud computing. So it makes money from its hardware sales, its installation and its maintenance. It makes money from its software as a, as a service and, and licensing. Uh, different products and services, and it makes money from the, the outsourcing and maintenance contracts. And between 50 and 70% of its revenue come from multi-year contracts with its big clients. So you don't ask them to do a web project, you ask them to run something for you for an extended period of time, and they will keep on doing it year after year, making it better all the time. So how does how does IBM do this? Okay, so I think there are 400,000 odd people working at IBM. It has got a squillion patents um, un under its belt. It's got research centers all over the world and sales offices in most big cities, or at least tier one cities. So, but what are the key resources? I think the key resources for IBM are partly it's, the, it's all the intellectual brain power that, it, that it's got there. But it's also the, the brand and the, the, the culture. It's very competent, very delivering. It's reliable. And this goes back 40 or 50 years, back in the 70s, 
uh, in, in early 80s, there, there was a famous advert. Nobody ever got fired for choosing IBM. And that wasn't aimed at the ID department. It was aimed at the procurement managers. Yeah, IBM is the safe pair of hands to deliver the goods for mission critical software time after time. And that is the position that he's continued to, to hold. And why it's still fighting off startups in many, many industries after over a hundred years of continuous re-evolution, adaptation to changing market competition uh, conditions. So the key activities, R&D, come up with new products, what's uh, make stuff better, keep on pushing the, the envelope, providing new products, letting the old products drop out the back, sell them off, let them go as people no longer want them. Operations, can we deliver operations, IT operations to our customers so we are consistently giving them a great ROI month after month, year after year. This is where a lot of the manpower goes into, into the operations. This is where a lot of the brain power goes into. There is manufacturing, but it's not their core competency. Key partners, the, the resellers, um, 30 to 50%, whoopsie, should have done that. 30 to 50% of uh, IBM hardware is sold through resellers and they're selling the hardware plus a suite of services a suite of services to keep it up and running for a period period of time that means that ibm doesn't have to have close and intimate relationships with everybody but just focus on the their tier one accounts the the big guys the people are going to spend 100 million dollars a year cost structure staff 400,000 very very clever staff don't come cheap you've also got a lot of offices and fixed assets that you have to be continually paying for but the big one, the new product development, developing stuff that may or may not work, that may or may not have a product market fit. It needs to do this to be leading, providing the stuff that corporations are going to need as they evolve their business models, as the technological world changes. That, guys, is IBM's business model. Trying to put it in a sentence. IBM provides large corporations the IT resources to deliver uh, their technology at scale on a very very reliable and cost-effective basis and it makes money by selling this on an annual contact contract um, okay a little bit about me now do you want to hear about me yeah sure ah, okay. I guess if you've watched this you figure out I know a little bit about business models I live for business models. I help people change them. I help people transform them. You bring me an idea. I'll create an awesome, innovative business model for you. Before you go, please press like. Please press subscribe to this channel. If you like this one about IBM, you like all the other ones I'm doing. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome day and go and make your business totally awesome. Yeah. I'm going to switch it off. No. Yeah.